All right, so we have this 99 Yamaha G16AT. Uh, we have a no crank, no start, nothing. So anytime I deal with the battery, I like to put on my gloves. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have the battery. It's not secure. Not positive. Negative. Oh yeah, right off the bat, you can see it's it's only got about seven and a half volts, if that. We load it up, it drops down to dead. Yep, battery's toast. And like I say in all of my videos when I'm working on a battery, the reason I do negative first is to de-energize the ground and prevent help prevent a short circuit. that out we can open this up a little bit more oh, this terminal is actually busted I don't know if you can see that see how it's cracked and it's ready to break so we may have to replace this terminal oh, oh look at that it just came right off I think these are 9 16 yep all right we'll get that off in a minute okay. this hand tight See, this terminal here looks like it's gotten hot, so it's actually rusty. Usually when they get hot, they rust. Okay. But you can see how they did this, the positive and negative for the light kit is separated from the cart's electrical system at the battery. That just makes for convenience. That's not really anything fancy. So this is a Marine Master Deca or Deca, whatever. Group 24. He needs a battery. This will be a core. So I will It's not going to interfere with anything. I mean See, this is well out of the way. That's all the way over. See, and the 24 F springs the post out here, and it keeps them in the same orientation. The 24 commons, or the 24 Cs, they'd be the other way in. It would be positive, negative, if we put it in this orientation. I'm trying to update Office 10, or Office on my Windows 10 laptop for like a week now. So it hasn't been very forthcoming as far as installing anything. Doesn't want to update. See how this has got a larger ring terminal. What I'll do is I'll put one of these on. It's a smaller terminal. It doesn't really need to be this large. See, then we can adapt this. 
This wire is just small enough to fit in here. We're going to put a little bit smaller of a ring terminal on. And when I mean smaller, I mean the diameter of the actual ring. We're going to shrink it down just a tad. Okay. And then to adapt it to this terminal, we're going to cut it off so we have a little open end like that. That will allow us to slip it right in. Just like that. And now we can tighten that side down. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the smooth flat side towards. That way, like so. And the opening is just big enough to accept that. So now we'll, this will act like a washer as well, this ring terminal being in there like that. See, this terminal is wore out, so it's hard to really get a grip on it. Good and firm. So that, that one didn't break. It's holding good. We can go with that one. We're good with that one. Uh, we're going to try the same thing, but see, we don't have to replace this ring terminal because it is large enough. So we'll just cut a slot in it to accept fixture and... Oops. What we got here? All right, lights are working. I probably should have checked that before I tried to hook that up. Get a little bit of arcing going on. Okay, oh, I'm also going to flat side towards the nut. Okay, and this ring terminal, again, just like the other side, will act like a washer, kind of. Hopefully, if this terminal doesn't break, we'll be okay. As long as the terminal itself does not snap off on either one of these wings that stick out that the bolt goes through. Okay, one more, just to kind of snug it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the battery's secured, wires are connected now. Fires up. Alright, so let me gonna fix this choke nut here and make it tight like it's supposed to be. Threads are wore out on that, so it does need a new choke. But it's not on the work order, so we can't do it. So, job done. Now we just need to and we got to check is our charging system to make sure charging system is working as it should. So, you can see we have see we're at about Twelve and a half volts.
And you can see the charging system is working, but it's working on the high side. It's okay, it's still within range. If it goes over 16 volts, then there's an issue. Um, but it's just charging at a higher current. That's why you're seeing that higher spike. So it's okay, it does pass. That's not the reason why the battery died. Uh, he should be okay. I know the charging systems on these things charge a lot higher than like your car because there's no sensitive electronics on them. So now this one's done. On to the next.